प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी इज द ब्रांच ऑफ बॉटनी डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ वाइटल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ प्लांट्स Stephen Hales was the scientist known as father of plant physiology. Crop physiology is the branch of agriculture botany deals with the study of vital activities of crop plants. Similar to animals, plants also show various vital activities as described below. Diffusion is a process in which any molecule move from their high concentration to low concentration area in plant cells different molecules are distributed through the process of diffusion osmosis is a process in which water or solvent move from its higher concentration to lower concentration area through a semi permeable membrane in plants distribution of water from one cell to next cell takes place through the process of osmosis all plants absorb water from soil through their roots 90% water is absorbed by passive mechanism means do not require energy while 10% water is absorbed by active mechanism means by the expenditure of energy ascent of sap is the process of conduction of water most water in plants needed at leaves for the process of photosynthesis hence water must reach at the leaves a complex tissue xylem is responsible for this purpose xylems of root stem and leaves are linked with each other to make continuous flow of water Transpiration is a process of loss of water from aerial parts of plants in the form of vapors. Mostly water vapors are emitted through the stomata present on leaf surfaces. Some of water vapors also losses through epidermis of aerial plant parts. Similar to water absorption, plants also absorb minerals from soil. through their roots mineral absorption is an active process means require expenditure of energy in plants food is synthesized in leaves but cells of stem and root also require food for survival hence food must be transported from leaves to cells of stem and root a complex tissue phloem is responsible for this purpose Phloems of leaves, stem, and root are linked to each other to maintain the continuous flow of food material when and where required. All green plants can synthesize their own food for their survival. This process occurs in leaves in the presence of light. Green plants can fix the energy of sunlight with the help of a plant pigment chlorophyll. similar to animals plants also respire for their survival in this process food material is oxidized in cells and energy is produced and this energy is utilized by plants in their various vital activities in plant cells various cell organelles and membranes are made up of protein and fat old proteins and fats get degraded to form amino acids and fatty acids respectively these simple molecules get polymerized to synthesize new proteins and fats growth is the permanent increment in length thickness and weight of plants it is an irreversible phenomena which is required to gain reproductive maturity in plants plant start their life from a single cell zygote this zygote undergo regular mitotic divisions to form a multicellular embryo this embryo further develop many plant organs this whole process is called development similar to animals plants also exchange gases with the environment 
during day time plants suck co2 from atmosphere and release o2 into the environment during night time plants suck o2 from atmosphere and release co2 into the environment this is because during day time rate of photosynthesis is more than the rate of respiration and during night time only the respiration process occurs next we will discuss about the history of plant physiology von helmont first of all discovered that plant weight increases due to soil and water stephen hales gave a statement that in plants water is lost in the form of vapors joseph priestley first of all discovered that plants exchange gases with their environment next topic we will discuss about the importance of crop physiology in agriculture and horticulture adaptable environment we can understand that how plants grow under favorable environment more plant growth leads to more crop yield water logging we can understand that in excess of water in soil plant roots cannot respire and cannot absorb minerals hence plants get die in water logging condition by drainage means by removing the excess water from the soil we can increase the crop yield we can understand that which plant require which type and how much minerals for their normal growth normal characters of plants are the expression of their physiological activities such as disease resistance tolerance primary production capacity formation of fruit and seed development of desired floral characters early maturation etc in many crops new plant types have been prepared which have following features high capacity of photosynthesis very low respiration rate storation of food in fruits and seed instead of stem and leaf very hard plants disease resistant plants rapid growth rate etc development of whole plant from a single cell is now possible due to cell physiology techniques for human welfare it is necessary to change the makeup of plants as height size shape leaf orientation towards sunlight breeding time dependences on nutrition tree breeding program sexual maturity in plants take a long period of time as 10 to 15 years but by changing the physiological structures we can reduce this time up to 2 to 4 years by using the knowledge of plant physiology sea farming can be established as a main industry for example by changing the behavior and growth structure of marine algae we can cultivate them easily pollution has a bad effect on physiology of crops by understanding the physiology of plants we can make city environment immaculate protect the soil from erosion protect the water from pollutants hence plants can control the pollution effectively by increasing the fixation of nitrogen we can increase the use of nitrogen by plants which results in high crop yield plant growth regulators auxin is used for rooting and parthenocarpic ethylene is used for fruit ripening gibberellins are used for parthenocarpy and 2,4-D is used as weedicide.